I love it. No, I, I can't tell you what it means to me personally, you being here. Uh, three and a half years ago, when we went through the thing, we went through worldwide, the pandemic, or what all that was, I wrote a book on it. Within a, I, I was asked by Charisma to write a book, and they asked me, could I write it within eight days? And, and I said, well, you know, none of us have anything else to do. You know, we might as well can. <laughs> and I, I did, and uh, that book is very helpful today. Um, I've been in this for a very long time now. Uh, in our nation, starting back in 1978, really praying for our nation, involved with various groups that are praying for our nation. And during that time, the first week, for three weeks, I would sit in my backyard and I would really seek the Lord. And uh, I would pray in tongues, and I, I'm not a big tonguer, you know, I, I'm not, I interpret tongues, so, you know, you know your gift and the manifestation, and, and if someone speaks in tongues, I don't hear tongues, I hear words, and I never have, I've been speaking in tongues since I was 18 years old, I got baptized uh, by, in the Spirit of God. When a Pentecostal pastor, we were in the hospital room together, and he led me to the Lord. And, and But it, it was always not my role in the church, so to speak. And <clears throat> so, and I would pray in tongues, and I would pray for America. And then I would ask the Lord about me uh, and where what he had planned and because my life had been going around the world John and Cheryl Price and many people in this room on various occasions we've been around the world many many times in 160 nations you know and all of a sudden God stopped us so you always ask him what he's saying and, of course, in New Jersey, I had an incredible encounter with the Lord where he showed me our nation. And um, that was after Dutch Sheets and I had been to every state, written a history, prophetic history book on the states, been to every state again, been to all the port cities, and really, you know, you get to a place in your life where you have prayed. I was thinking about our dear sister, 96 years old. Just think of all the prayers she's prayed here. Where's, where's Anna? Come on up. Richard, bring her up. 96 years old. God has told her... He promised her that she would see a move of God, and when she heard about the intercession, she said, this is that. So come on up, Anna. Uh, we want you to say the opening prayer for us here. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. It's like a reception. It's a reception. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for this night. We thank you, Lord, for your presence. We know, oh God, that you're coming down in a mighty way, Lord. Lord, heal bodies, save people, fill them with the Holy Spirit. Lord, take us out of ourselves. Take us in heavenly places with you. And Lord, do a mighty work in this place tonight. And shake up the city of Scranton. Jesus, we give him glory. Let's give him glory. glory. 
I mean, and you've prayed. You know, you've, you've prayed everything you know to pray. And, and I said to the Lord, you're going to have to really tell me what to do because I, I don't have a real religious background and I don't have uh, a religious push to do things. And he began to speak to me and tell me that he had cities because I had been faithful, there were cities that he wanted to call forth this hour. And <clears throat> it was really quite a meeting. He took me to the uh, parables of the minor where those that invested, he would give them ten cities or five cities. And he started reminding me of all my investments throughout the world. And yet, I really had no distinct call to just intercede and press forward. And, you know, I have good friends who are very demanding on my call, and they would say, well, if you're not hearing anything, what, what, what's going to happen with us? And I said, I'm hearing what God wants to say to me. And the Lord instructed me not to be listening for something I had heard before. And so about 14 months ago now, because you guys have been coming over here for 13 months, I had a dream, and Abby, I see you and your husband there, and it's such a blessing to see you, and I had a dream about Pennsylvania. Well, in the vision God had given me in 20, uh, back when he visited me in New Jersey in uh, 2008, it's been that long ago, goodness, and caught me up and showed me every state. He showed me Pennsylvania, and I have been devoted to Pennsylvania. I mean, there was one year the Lord told me any time I was invited to be in Pennsylvania, to go and labor with the people here. And we went so many places, and it was just a blessing to be with so many different groups. Ruth, I remember being with you, and of course, a good friend of mine, Joseph Garlington, and so many of you up here, Abby, so many others. And so in this dream, the Lord was taking me back to every place I had been to in Pennsylvania. Our last 50-state tour meeting was in Pennsylvania in Philadelphia at the Catholic Church. And that's where the Lord told us to end what he had begun two years prior. And so the Lord in this dream was taking me to every place throughout Pennsylvania we had been. And then all of a sudden, he spoke. And he said, until you gather in Scranton, you will not see revival in this nation. It's just that clear. It was so clear, so loud, that it awakened me. I immediately I called and, and said, Listen, I, I don't know anything about why God would say Scranton. And I'm sure some of you don't know why he would say Scranton. <laughs> but it was that clear. And until Scranton began to gather, 
America would not have revival. Now, can you imagine after all the places I've been to and all the incredible, huge, huge gatherings for the Lord to say until Scranton, Pennsylvania, begins together, you will not see revival in America. Now, <laughs> we have people here from Massachusetts, which I love dearly, and we have people here from New York. Let's, I, I, Apostle Ron Domina, uh, Al uh, who, and Deb, who, who led the prayer movement in New York for so long, and Al and Casey Hawk, they're here. I mean, just incredible people. Uh, almost, we almost saw an outbreak in Rochester, New York one time. And that's why I had to wait for almost three years for the Lord to say the sign will be for America to have revival when Scranton, Pennsylvania begins to gather. Look at somebody next to you and say you have created a sign for the whole nation. <laughs> 